Hey, good morning, uh, Daryl and Chad. I'm gonna kind of kill two birds with one stone with this real quick early morning video. Um, Daryl, this is the one we looked at yesterday. And Chad, this is one you haven't seen yet. But because it's the same floor plan, Chad, as the Class C we looked at for, believe it or not, less money, and already has your tow vehicle hitch equipment installed. So that would save you a bunch of money all the way around. Uh, low miles, 6,400 miles. It's a 2021. It's a fiberglass roof. So that's going to be a big difference, to, uh, Chad, between the uh, Greyhawk, or I'm sorry, the Red Hawk, and this. Two ACs, you guys. 50 amp camper. That was one of your questions, uh, Daryl. But uh, we're going to do a reseal on this this morning. So I'm up here before Jerry gets up here to do that. This thing's in real good condition. Uh, you saw that, Daryl. But let me, let's go downstairs and take a look. Pardon me for while I do this. Remember, you guys, we have the RV park here on site. And that ensures that everything's working and you know how to work it before you leave. That's a big plus. Jerry ties a ladder here. Where in the hell am I? And I don't do that. So this is different than what I'm used to climbing down. All right. It's a Winnebago, of course, intent. Here is the uh, hitch equipment, the aforementioned hitch equipment already on there. Quick look at the outside. I didn't have room really to put the awning out before I hit the building. But a bit of an outside kitchen with storage, hot and cold running water, television, refrigerator, 110 outlet here. Big storage here. If I can open it with one hand, I can. So a lot of basement storage. Side cameras. Daryl, you were asking about that. Bam. So the biggest difference, Chad, is going to be that big window up front. We'll see that when we go inside, but the driving experience is a lot. It's no more difficult, in my opinion. In fact, in my opinion, even easier because of your additional uh, viewing. What am I trying to say? Viewing, you can see more. <laughs> it's early, you guys. This is what it will look like as you're going down the road to Glacier National Park. Mrs. Darrell, you commented on the uh, fabric. Looks cloth, but it's kind of a real easily cleaned vinyl. Both of these, again, this is with the slide in. Both of these chairs easily swivel front. I've got the windows all blacked out, so that's kind of how it would be in camp mode. Um, you can still, with the slide in, get to the bunks, the bathroom, and the bedroom. So let's put the slide out, which is a pretty simple push of a button. It's a super slide, so it's not really deep, but it's one single slide that goes, okay, this is your button. I'm trying to remember what we want for this. It's low 90s, I think. So, starting from the bedroom, I suppose, find the light switch. Really well done. All the light cabinetry really opens it up. There's your second AC. Television already in. That's your lagoon table that goes up front by your two front passenger seats. Lots of closet space, double entry into the bathroom, of course. Here's your bathroom. It has a big shower for the size of the camper. I'm 6'4", and with my shoes on, 
I don't even have my head in the hole. But super clean, like I say, only about 6,400 miles. This could pass as brand new. Honestly. So the kids will have this bunk. And this bunk comes down. I don't know who put it up. I can't do it with one hand anyway. Pretend I can do this with one hand. This comes down. You got a bunk here, bunk there. When it's up, this is just extra closet space for you. Because this will come down and uh, be a clothes hanger. That jackknives into a little bed, that'll make into a bed, and then you have the overhead bed, which I think I can show you if I get the key to the right spot. The key has to be in a certain area, I think. I'm gonna make you dizzy walking back and forth. Oh, there we go. It's a real smooth operation. Boom chakalaka. There it is down. So the kids love that. They've got their own little bookshelf and 110 and USB. It's just this bunk right here. So there you go, you guys. This is a winner. This is uh, kind of a hard to find 2021, if I remember correctly. But really low miles, really well taken care of. It's always a good sign when you see them keeping their books and receipts, TV directly across from your lounge. Yeah, this is uh, this was only been, this has only been here about 15 days. It's just now getting its pre-delivery inspection um, that's why it's here in Jerry's Bay but it's already been sold once they were unfortunately not able to purchase so this will not last you guys let me know what you think you both have my numbers 406-696-4750 Montana number Buta Texas location 406-696-4750 I think uh, 62 hours on the generator. It cranks right up. Can't even hear it. So there we go. 406-696-4750. It's a 2021. Yep, 2021. And this is the one we purchased. It wasn't a trade-in, so we go through them a little bit more thoroughly sometimes purchase as opposed to trade in let me know what you think you guys i'm ready when you are 100 bucks to take your take it off the market we can arrange any financing you like 406-696-4750 if you don't know now you know let's go camping